Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Knitting for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit this basic beanie hat for the whole family. You can make this hat for a child, for a teen, for women, and for adults. It's done in the same way, and there is no seam since we're going to knit this hat in the round. This one here, I did it in the same way. This is what it looks like. The stitch is very easy. All we do is knit two and then purl two throughout the hat and then we close it here at the top. So it's very easy to make. Okay, so let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin I'll be using these 32 inch five millimeter circular kneading needles and I'll be using this yarn. It's called Style Craft Special Erin. This is in the color copper. If you're in the US, you can use any number four yarn. Okay, so here to begin, we're going to cast on a total of 76 stitches and we're going to make this hat in the round using the magic loop. So the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to cast on your stitches using any method. I'll leave a link down here in the information box on how you can cast on your stitches. It's a little hat that I did, just watch the beginning and that's where I show how to cast on your stitches using the long tail cast on. You can also use any other method. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to divide our stitches here. And I like to do this. So separate, you don't have to be precise, just separate one half approximately on one side and the other half on the other. So just pull your cable like this and bring your stitches to the front like this. So now make sure that your working yarn is always here in this back needle and then it's always right in front of this needle like this. So we're going to join to the first stitch and we're going to do a rib of two by two. That means we're going to knit two and then purl two. You can also knit one, purl one, it's up to you. I'm going to do two by two. So pull your needle from the back bring it like this, leave a loop here, and we're going to begin with this first stitch to join in the round. So we're going to knit the first stitch, knit the next stitch, and then we're going to purl the next two. So bring the yarn in front and purl the next two. Knit the next two, and purl the next two. I'm going to do this all the way to the end of this needle here. I'm going to finish all of these stitches here. So knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. I'm going to fast forward this to the last two stitches. Okay, I have my last two stitches now here. If you only have one, then just remember what your last stitch is here. I just happen to have two, depending on how you divided here when we started the first row, you may have one. The important thing here is that you still follow the same knit two, purl two. So these two stitches here are purls, so my next two stitches I'm going to knit. Now, drop this needle, turn your work like this. Now push your cable. and then grab the needle from the back or pull the needle from the back. Now you're going to remember what your last two stitches were. So mine were two knits. So in this, so here I'm going to purl the next two. Knit the next two and so on. This is all I'm going to do. So continue and I'll meet you at the end. 
I'm here at the end of this first row. My last two stitches I have to purl because we began with two knit stitches. So we're going to purl these last two. Now drop your needle, turn. Now if you notice that it's opening this part here, just pull on this and it should close. Perfect. Now push your cable. Pull the needle from the back. And now we're going to do the same thing. Now the first two stitches we knit in the first row, so we're going to knit them again. The next two stitches we purl, so we're going to purl. Knit two, purl two. I'm going to do this all the way to the end, right here, until I finish all of these stitches. I'm here at the end, I have my last two stitches, so I'm going to knit. For you, it may be different depending on how you divide it. Just remember before we turn. So now, drop your needle and turn. Push your cable. Grab your needle from the back. And now we're going to work these stitches on this other needle. So my last two stitches I knit, so these next two are purl. Now to tell what is knit and what is purl, the purl stitches have this bar right in front, whereas the knit stitches don't. So let me purl these two so that I can show you. So purl, see the little bar is right in front, and the knit stitches don't. You see a V stitch, so you knit, and the stitch is a bit slanted purl two, knit two. See what I mean about being slanted a little? That's how you would know. So continue to the end of the second row and I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end, these last two stitches I'm going to purl. And this is how I finish this second row. Now drop your needle, turn, push your needle, Pull your needle from the back and begin your third row. Now, this is all we're going to do. I'm going to do this for about 10, I don't know, 10 rows or so. Just continue watching and you'll see exactly how many rows I'm going to do, but we're going to repeat the same thing. You're going to knit two and then purl two, just like I showed you in the last row. Knit two, purl two. Continue like this, just knit two, purl two all around and then repeat again and continue watching so that you can see exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, did a total of 12 rows here. So now what we're going to do for the rest of the hat is you can knit every one of the stitches all around and continue that way or you can purl every single one of the stitches and continue that way. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue with the same knit two, purl two, knit two, purl until I have the total height of my hat. So to do this, if you want to do the same, you're going to just continue knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. And if you want to do the other way where you knit each one of the stitches, then you just knit every one of the stitches for every row. Or if you want to purl, you can.
just purl each one of the stitches for every row until you until you have the size that you want this hat to be now this is a pretty basic hat nice and easy so I'm just going to continue this way so continue watching and I'll let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do uh, so I'll meet you at the end of that row Okay, I did a total of 63 rows and so far it's measuring from here to the end. It's measuring about 11 inches, which is about 28 centimeters. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make one more row so that we can reduce uh, a couple of these stitches and then we're going to close our hat. So what I'm going to do here is pull the needle from the back. Okay, so here, what we're going to do is these next two stitches, this is the beginning of the row, we're going to knit two together. And then the next two, we're going to purl one and purl two. So the purl stitches are going to remain the same. Now the next two, which are the two knit stitches, we're going to knit two together. And then the purl stitches remain the same. Purl the two of them, one and two. And then again, we have the two knit stitches. You're going to knit two together. And then you're going to purl one and purl two. And then again, knit two together. And purl one and purl two. This is all you're going to do for this row. So continue and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row where we did the first row of reductions. Now, what I'm going to do next is we're going to reduce the two purl stitches. So the stitch here that follows is my knit stitch. So I'm going to knit that one. And then what I'm going to do to make this easier is I'm going to change the direction of these two purl stitches because as it is, it's kind of hard to purl two together. Well, you can do it, but it's going to be a little hard. So uh, let's try it. So we're going to knit from the back to the front so it's a little hard so what I prefer to do is we're going to change the direction so pull this first stitch pull the next one and put them back into the this needle see how the direction is now uh, as if they're to be knit so now you can easily purl them so that's what I'm going to do so the next one you're going to knit the next two change the direction of the stitch as if you're going to knit them and then purl them. This is the last row, so it really doesn't matter. We're not going to do anything in the next row, so I'm just going to work them like this. Okay, again, remove them, change the direction as if you're going to purl, I mean, um, knit them, and then purl two together. Again, knit the next stitch, change the direction of the next two, which are the two purl stitches as if you're going to knit them, but purl them. Oops, my hands are slippery. Perfect, like this. And that's all we're going to do for this last row. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this last row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this last row of reduction. Now I have a total of 38 stitches. If you're off by a couple of stitches, it's okay. We're just going to continue and close this um, hat now. So what I'm going to do is I've cut my yarn already and I left uh, about 12 inches here. We don't need it all, but it's easier. So just use a needle and pass it through. Now we're going to be removing our stitches. So we're going to go here into this first stitch. This is my last stitch. So we're going to go around this way as if we were knitting this row. So just push your needle like this to the front or your stitches, I mean, and then pull each one of them like this. And that's all we're going to do to close the hat. I'm not going to make any more reductions. We're going to make this nice and easy. So I'm going to do this off camera, but basically all you're going to do is just remove your stitches like this. Okay, so continue all around. And I'll meet you once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next. Okay, one thing before I continue, I've already removed these stitches here on this side, and then we have the needle here in the back. So what I like to do is if you're using these circular needles, just pull the needle here like this, and then you're going to continue in the same way. See, now it's much easier rather than removing them all. 
and then losing them. So we don't want to do that. So I'm going to continue and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to close the hat. Okay, I'm here at the end. So what we're going to do now is just pull this yarn like this. And now our hat is closed. Pull on it really tight. And then insert your needle through this other end like this. And we're going to weave this end all around the, the top. So this here is a reversible stitch, so make sure that you hide your ends really good here. You just you just insert your needle in and out so that this part here is nicely closed. And pull on it so that it closes. Now you can also add a pump on to this. I think I'm going to do this hat in like a neon orange. My husband and my son are into hunting, so they really like the way that this fits, so I think I'm going to do that for them. So you get the point, you just go around. I'm going to do that after it's done, or I'm going to show you this here now. So that's what it looks like. Perfect. Now, here's our finished hat. This hat here fits everyone in the family, including my almost six year old. The only thing is that for him, I have to fold it a, a bit more like this and it fits perfect on him. I'm going to attach a picture of him wearing it so that you all can see. He's almost six years old and my son who's 18, he also wore this and it fits perfect on him and so did I and my husband. So this hat here is for the whole family. So, and it was so easy to make. So this was today's tutorial. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to add a pompon. I'm not sure if my son wants a pompon on this hat, but we'll see. Actually, I think I'll keep this for myself. Um, he said he wanted a green hat with a carrot on it. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but I'll try. Anyways, so here's the hat, and that's what it looks like. So this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.